I've got this lamp from one of my acquaintance. This lamp isn't working, I'm taking it apart because I want to use the telescopic part of it into my new LED lamp. I also wanted to find what went down on this lamp. And to my surprise the bad part of this lamp was this 130 degree centigrade temperature fuse which was placed on the primary winding. I have this warm white LED strip and I will cut it into these five short pieces. When I knew the length of my LED strips I could start to make the shade for them. The material for shade I choose an aluminium because the aluminium will serve as a heatsink for the LED strips and this also will help to increase the lifetime of LEDs. I also want to have the edges on the shade because I don't want to have the light shining into my eyes. I am creating the edges by bending the piece of aluminium in my small vise. The only bad job what I have done was hitting it with the pliers and that left some unpleasant marks on the shade. But I take it as the tax of not having a hammer in my workshop. The longer side of the shade I was bending first left side and then right side and so on and that went quite well. Off camera I rough sanded the upper side of the shade and it helped a little bit. I don't know if all of you recognize this material in my videos. It's a piece of an old laminate flooring. I like it because it's easy to work with it. But I am using it in this project mainly because it's exactly thin as I need and I also needed something what is not electrically conductive because the two telescopic parts will lead 12 volts into the lamp. The MDF inside this flooring is stiffer than the regular MDF so it doesn't split so easily when I drive screws in it.
I also like these SMD5050 LED chips because they contain free LEDs and the light from the chip isn't so blinding. Here I started to design the holder for the lamp. I must also take into account the space that I have for it. And for this holder I found only a small place. When you see me twisting the workpiece while I am drilling, that's just my way how I drill a hole into 90 degree angle, this should help to self position the drill bit. My new LED lamp will be placed on the left door of the wardrobe slash workshop. The lamp I'll be using primarily while shooting video. The more light I will have, the less ISO on the camera can be set and the higher quality of the video richer on the detail I can get. With this holder I wanted to achieve mainly that it can set the angle of the lamp to be shining from outside of the workshop. Here I brought the 12 volts from the adapter which I made for decorative lights, you saw it in the previous video. Now is the time to make a holder for a small rocker switch. I quite like the rocker switches and they are commonly used in different things.
So if I want to turn on this LED lamp, which I made, I have to first turn on the 12 volt adapter with this switch. This will immediately turn on the decorative lights. Like this I can set the angle of the lamp and extend it how I want. The switch for the lamp is here. As you can see this light is exactly that thing which my workspace needed. You probably will not see this lamp in my later videos because it will be doing its job and light the scene while I'll be filming, but these decorative lights will be in some shots to make a good mood. Thanks for watching, subscribe.